Automatic Virtual Machine Activation, or AVMA, allows you to activate your VMs against your data center version of server as long as it's your hypervisor. Microsoft provides the keys needed for AVMA, and a link to those keys can be found in the description. Today we'll show three ways to use AVMA to activate a VM. Let's start with a VM that's not activated. You can see that by running the Software Licensing Management Tool, or SLMGR, and looking at the license status line. In this case, it says notification, which makes sense because it's not activated. Now that we've confirmed the status, we can use AVMA to activate it. Our first method is with a command prompt. Open a command prompt as admin and type in the SLMGR command. When you hit enter, you'll get a message showing the activation has succeeded. We can also check again with the SLMGR command. Now you'll see the license status shows licensed. Notice it also has an expiration date. This is a licensing check to prevent you from moving the VM to a non-data center host. It checks in every few days, and as long as the VM is still running with data center as your hypervisor, it resets the expiration date. Now we'll go back to an unlicensed VM, as you can see with SLMGR. Notice the message is a little different this time, because I'm showing a VM that has no key at all, instead of one with an invalid KMS key like I showed last time. This doesn't matter for activation, it's just one other thing you may see. Our second activation method is going to be with PowerShell. This is exactly the same as with the command prompt, but I wanted to show that it works. Open PowerShell as an administrator and enter the SLMGR command. When you hit enter, you'll get the same message as before, showing that the key was successful. And just like before, we can run the SLMGR command to confirm that it really did work. And once again, you'll see your license status is now licensed. Finally, we'll do a remote activation. First, we'll go back to an unlicensed VM, as shown with SLMGR. And then we will check the host name, because we'll need that to remote in. Now, from a different server, we'll activate this VM. Open PowerShell as admin, and run the invoke command to allow remote access and installation of the key. When you hit enter, it will take a moment, and then you'll get a line showing the installed key. To confirm this, we'll go back to the other server and run the SLMGR command. And here you can see that the license status is licensed. Thanks for watching.